How does a portable handheld espresso machine stack up to a professional one? We're gonna do the work for you and find out. Welcome back to Whole Brain Coffee. Today we have two products for you from Staresso, which we received from them. Thank you Staresso for reaching out to us. Yes, thank you. We're gonna test them out for you and see how they fare. So the first thing we have here is a portable espresso maker. It looks very professional. Actually, I like this setup. Secondarily, we also have this beautiful grinder, which though you can't really feel it, has a really nice weight to it, has a beautiful handle here. First of all, my expectations were pretty low to be honest this is not a company i've ever heard of when uh, they said they're going to send me a hand pump espresso machine i didn't know really what to expect but upon receiving it both of these items look well engineered well designed high quality everything fits together well i mean even this it's like it's it has this beautiful handle it feels really nice to actually use it is attachable so you can go ahead and take this part and this component off you can go ahead and unscrew the top here get a full view of uh, the internals everything looks really solid on these and it feels really solid by the way yeah, it's fully metal the only yeah. part on here that's not metal is the little uh, wooden handle tip yeah. you have your adjuster in here for your grind size you also have your basin where you put your coffee and actually there is a little sieve inside that filters out a lot of the finer powder grind so you actually get a more consistent grind than you would have otherwise which is really nice as far as this goes uh, this looks a little bit intimidating at first. It kind of intimidated us. Looks like something SpaceX made a little bit. You know? Yeah, there's a lot of parts to it. Once you get the hang of it, it's really not that, not that crazy. These legs unfold. Kind of a satisfying click, to be honest. Yeah. Looks very like military ready almost. Like it's that, all covered in like rubber. It has a good grip to it. Yeah, that grip looks really nice actually. So real quick, how it works fundamentally is you have a little cup. This is where your espresso will drip into. You have this little section. This is where you put your coffee grinds. Very nice. Right in there. You screw it back on. And then in the top part, you put your water. And then all you have to do is sit there and pump away uh -huh. until your espresso drips out. So we're actually gonna go ahead and see exactly how these products stack up in terms of their design, in terms of even their durability, and in terms of the actual result that they produce. We will then give our opinions and tell you whether or not we think this is a good deal. Absolutely, so with all that talk, what do you say we get brewing? Let's get brewing. Let's get brewing. Well, there you have it. Looks like a real shot of espresso. The coffee we used was this a prize donkey, which we tried previously, it was fantastic. Go check them out. Initial impressions, the crema itself actually looks pretty decent. Like it looks good. It looks like there was a pretty good extraction. So I'm hoping that there won't be any uh, acidity as which is a sign of under extraction. It looks like a real shot of espresso. It smells good for sure. It has nice nutty notes, a little bit of fruitiness, some chocolate notes. I think we're supposed to drink it right from there, but. Yeah, that's true. We, uh, we care about sanitation here on Whole Grain. Whoa. I gave you a good bit there. Right. The crema is still coming up, which is nice. It's nice, it's pretty viscous. Looks pretty good. Looks and smells good, so. I'm gonna do cheers. cheers, my friend. Cheers. Listen, it's good. Obviously, it's mm. not the same result, in my opinion. It's not quite right. like espresso machine level. It's close. I hesitate even saying under extracted, but more of the acidity comes forward, but on the back palate, you get nice, creamy, delicious flavors. Now, is it as viscous, like Sergey was saying, as a espresso machine maybe that is thousands, tens of thousands of dollars? No, but for the price point, which is... This was a hundred bucks. Only a hundred bucks? hundred bucks. And you get really good quality espresso from here for that price, I would say. I think the value is definitely there. Now, there are some other, you know, hand crank espresso style machines out there and whatnot, roughly around the similar price range, but you should be paying double of what you'd pay for this, for those kinds of machines. And the result is oh, extraordinarily similar. They're also not portable at all. They have a giant That is also on. true. Great job, Staresso, for making this kind of portable espresso maker. It's we were pleasantly surprised. This is this is good, good coffee. Good. Yeah, it was good. Yeah. Also, I, I don't want to neglect to mention this grinder. It is really well built. For you can feel it, dude. It's heavy. It's got it's all metal. It's really sick. Hundred thirty bucks though. It's yeah. a little bit on the pricier side. Right, but I mean that thing will probably outlive me for all I know. Really, I think it will. At the end of the day, it's yeah. all steel and aluminum. Staresso, I think, absolutely nailed it. These mm -hmm. are two unique products. Uh, 
I like them. Well, I think we could definitely say in good conscience, you know, even for the, for the price points, there's actually even in some cases, especially for the price points with the espresso yeah. maker, that you'd be hard pressed to find a whole lot of things that would yield you that kind of quality for any better of a deal. If you've ever used a cheap espresso machine, like a cheap one that's yeah. electric. We all we all have here. It's okay, guys. Yeah, we can like not even a sticks. starter one, just like a really, really cheap one. Yeah. This is like leagues and leaps and bounds better than any of those. For the price that you're getting, you get a not only a pretty good espresso maker, but really for the portability factor, the durability, Seems like it's well made, well it's, put together, yeah. nice components. I kind of like how the handle, a little pump, doesn't rotate. Yeah, true. It gets kind of locked into place, and then when you push it down, it locks into place. Listen, the whole thing's pretty cool. Yeah. It's a cool thing. So I think we can honestly say, in good conscience, that we would recommend both these products. I would recommend them. We appreciate you guys watching the video. Have you tried the Storesso Espresso Maker? Have you tried the grinder? Um, what's your favorite Storesso product? Leave a comment down below. Please consider subscribing. Helps us out a heck of a lot if you want to see more content like this as well. If you want to pick either of these up for yourself, just scroll down and click the links in the description. And in the spirit of our channel and the spirit of what Storesso are also doing, we greatly urge you to keep using your, your whole brain. brain.